So today I'm taking a look at this cash register by Royal model number 140DX. So I just want to do a quick unboxing and go ahead and set it up and see how well this works. So everything can go ahead and be pulled out just like so. And here we have the instruction manual, receipt paper roll, three AA batteries, and a baggie with two keys and these plastic caps. All right, so here's the cash register itself. It's going to look nice and beefy. It's going to be 10 pounds and we're going to have up to 999 price lookups. There's going to be up to 16 departments you can go ahead and add. There's going to be eight clerk identification systems and you can also have up to four separate tax rates. So now taking a look at the keys, these are going to look really lovely with the different colors. But most importantly is how they feel. And I can say these feel very responsive. Uh, they feel very clicky as well too. Kind of like a, a good keyboard would feel instead of a registers with very thin keys where they press barely this one goes all the way down as you can see here and one thing to note too is that these are going to feel more round than regular registers and of course right here there's just going to be a barrier so you kind of can mistake it for a key but this is just going to be the plastic all right so the first thing to do is to go ahead and plug it in and now the batteries can be installed and to get to the batteries the back plate has to be lifted up so i just put my hand right here and just pull it upwards just like so and it comes right off and then right here, there's going to be this plate. I can just lift it up. And then right here is where the three AA batteries are going to go. Now the receipt tape can be fed through underneath here. Just like so. And now when I have it, I can go ahead and turn on the register. And then just press this button. And it'll go ahead and begin feeding it. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and place the cover inside. And there. All right, so before programming the register, I just want to go ahead and check out the cash register. And I have the keys over here, so I can go ahead and unlock it. And it should already be uh, unlocked. Yeah, it is. And so now to open this up, there's going to be two ways. The first way is going to be manually. So if I go ahead and push it upside down, we're going to see this white lever. So as I push it up, it's going to go ahead and open up as you see here. And of course, if I go ahead and lock the register and then I push this up, there's no way to go ahead and open it. So I'll go ahead and unlock it and open it up again. And there you can see. But before going inside, I'm going to show you the other way. And the other way to go ahead and uh, open this is first turning on the register. So I'll go ahead and put it anyone over here. So it'll open after any sale is done. Or if I go ahead and click the button over here, which says number slash ST slash NS. And now taking a look at the register itself, you're going to see there's going to be four different trays for the dollar money. And then there's going to be four slots for coins. And there also are going to be two additional slots. So if you want, you can put one more and then you'll have five slots or you can put two more and then you'll have six slots. So to actually go ahead and take this off, I do want to go ahead and remove the tape on the sides here. And now this bar can slide right up. And here's what it goes ahead and looks like. So to actually remove the separator, I have to go ahead and go to the back. And then right here with the screwdriver, just gently go ahead and push these parts out. You know, making sure not to break the plastic. And then this one on this way. And there it is. It goes ahead and comes right off. And I'll go ahead and just install that back again. And to install it back, I can go ahead and just give it a nice push. And there. And now here's a closer look at the bill slots. All right, so now's the most important part, which is actually programming the cash register. Uh, beforehand, I just wanna go over uh, buttons real quick. So up over here, this is gonna be to turn it on. We're gonna have reg one, reg two, X, Z, and program. Now, reg one is gonna be the first register. This one's gonna be if you wanna go ahead and include receipt paper. Second one's gonna be no receipt paper. Then you have X and Z for customization, and then program to, of course, program the different, uh, different things such as time and date, which I'm going to go over right now. Now to go ahead and put time, we just want to go ahead and use 24 hour format. And it is currently 1928. So I can press 1928 and then press quantity slash time. And now the time is set. And now to go ahead and put the date again, just keep it in program. We're going to go ahead and put the date in six numbers. So, uh, it is zero one two eight two four and then click this button over here that's st and s and there now the date is set now the last thing to do is going to be the tax and now this is going to be the most intense part 
but it's simple as well too. We're gonna go ahead and press the one, press tax shift, and then write the tax. So in this case, it's 8.125%. So I'm not gonna put the decimal, just 8125, press amend total, zero, zero, one, check, one, and then whatever button you want to uh, be taxed. So in this case, I'll put this one, and there, now it's all set. So now to go ahead and actually use it, I'll go ahead and go to register one so the receipt paper can print. Let me go ahead and uh, press this button real quick. All right. And now to actually use it, I wanna go ahead and bring up an item at $10 at the tax bracket. And I want the person to give me $20 and change, or $20 and then I wanna see what change I have to give them. So in this case, I'll put $10 item, one nine with tax, and that's it. So I can go ahead and press uh, this button here, and the total is gonna be $10.81. So now they gave me, let's say they gave me $11, or $11.11, .11, and I can put amend total. The register is gonna go ahead and open up as well too. And here everything's printed out, and then here we could see C, that means change, and 30 so that I owe them 30 cents now and then we go ahead and rip it out here we can go ahead and take a look at the receipt so up top is going to be the date so 128 24 over here is going to be the price of the item uh, with tax uh, is going to be ten dollars and 81 cents they gave me eleven dollars eleven cents and their change is going to be 30 cents and then all the way at the bottom that's going to go ahead and be the time All right, now let's go over another scenario. So let me just go ahead and clear this up. And to clear it, I can just press the C button. Let's say somebody came up for an item for $15. Uh, and if you don't want to include tax, you're going to press this button right above it. And then, all right, the total is $15. But they decide, oh wait, I do want something else. So you want to go back to the previous thing so I can just cancel. So I cancel the previous button I pressed. And I can go ahead and type in the next item they bought. So let's say it's a $12.50 and this one is taxed. And then right here, the new total with tax is going to be $28.52. And then just like before, I can go ahead and put uh, this, uh, the amount that they go ahead and give me. So I'll put uh, $30 and then amend. And the change is, and the change is going to be $1.48.